Hello, uh, this is a message to anybody who may be considering doing mental health nursing um, at Bangor University. My name is Barry, I'm one of the uh, lecturers uh, in mental health. I've been a lecturer now for three years and it would be really nice to see you join the, uh, the course if you're interested. In a short while I'll tell you all about the course and some of the things that um, may benefit you and others in the future. Um, so, as I say, I've been with the university now for three years. Uh, it's a really lovely place to work. It's a lovely university. It's very supportive and it's a great environment to, to learn, especially mental health nursing. And of course, I would say. So, some details about the course. The course is over three years um, to um, do the degree course in. in BN degree course in, in mental health nursing. Um, the first year or, or 18 months is what we call an interprofessional foundation element where you will be with lots of other different disciplines including midwifery, radiography, um, adult nurses as well, where you'll be learning things like person-centered, medicines management, all the sort of core foundational um, parts of a nursing um, career. And then you'll um, splinter off into your own, what we call fields, and you'll join us for the first um, module, which I'm the lead for, which is called Developing as a Nurse. And in that course, we start to develop your ideas around what mental health is, how to manage mental health, therapies, um, and all the different facets of mental health, which I'm sure you, you could all already imagine is, is quite involved. Then you lead on to, um, there's, there's all interweaved between all of these different um, the fields. There are nursing practice elements as well. But then you'll do a, a, a second um, field module, which is called um, advanced decision making. Again, that's growing on what you've already learned in developing as a nurse. And finally, the third module, which is a field module as well, is called leading complex care, which hopefully polishes off your knowledge um, and theory and allows you to feel confident as a, a mental health nurse going forward. So that's broadly um, what, what's involved. Um, there are a number of assessments all the way through that, uh, including essays, and there's also um, a thing called Safe Medicaid exams, but that gradually, um, uh, you, you gradually get, get more and more involved in those things as, as, th as time flies by. So during the course, you'll also do clinical placements. Now they can be anywhere within um, Gwyneth and Mon. Um, usually the, the placements are as close to where you, um, you can travel to as possible um, and, and allowances are made for that. The, there are numerous clinical placements across the, the area and you, including forensics, um, acute settings, community settings, you may do uh, eating disorders, you may do CAMs, you may do substance issues. There's a wide array of different experiences and you will you will sample all those on a seven week um, period of time and so it's a really interesting area to work because it's got that diversity and that versatility as well so hopefully you'll you'll enjoy that element of the course as well so if i was asked why do mental health nursing which of course is a good question i would start by looking at what I got from mental health nursing as, a, as a, a means to really draw out the answer to that question. And I think first of all, the thing that I got out of my career, which spans now for too long to mention, is that a real sense of, I got a career that had a real sense of purpose. Um, like many, I was a 17 year old, 18 year old young person who didn't really know what I wanted to do. Uh, what I did know is I wanted to get a career that would potentially get me some money to go traveling was the, was the truth at the start of my journey. But I always had, had a bit of an interest in psychology. I was a bit of an armchair philosopher as well. And so, you know, you might be like that in some way you have a sort of, you may be a little bit lost or you've got an interest in psychology, philosophy, mental health potentially, and you're not quite clear where to go. And I would suggest that this course and this career could be a really good move for you. 
in lots of ways. One, if you've got an innate sense of, um, of, of, of wanting to help others, you've got an, an innate level of compassion, then we will help you grow that and you will, those parts will flourish. And one thing I recall after finishing my training, I went in, went in as a child in my mind and I came out an adult with confidence, with really good communication skills, and all of those were, were, were to do with the course. The other, the other element, of course, is that you, you have the opportunity to work with many different people. This field allows you to work with psychiatrists, with other nursing professions, with all the health professions. And that level of collaboration um, in mental health is, is, is really high and really interesting as well. Um, you'll certainly be able to, to um, sample various settings, which, um, which will be really enriching for you as, as, as a developing in the career. Um, one minute you're working with, with young people uh, and dealing with their problems, the next you might be working with, some, with a family who um, somebody's, um, somebody's in the sort of latter stages of, of, um, of dementia. Learning is really important for our well-being and you will continuously learn. I'm still learning, I'm sure all my colleagues are still learning um, about mental health. Mental health is a complicated, complex problem, but with time we are getting closer and closer to understanding how we can help and you will be coming into a career at a time where things are beginning to get very exciting about um, more and more knowledge we're building around that. So, Please do join us on the mental health course. We would love to see you. Cheers.